Second Roasting of My Alchemical Red Lion by Stephen School Alchemy YouTube Channel. Not for consumption. Do not try this at home. Subscribe for updates. Check out the Stephen School Alchemy Forum on Patreon. Welcome to the Stephen School Alchemy YouTube channel. This video is about soluble fixed salts in alchemy. Calcination is purification by fire. And then a purified liquid is used to dissolve, filter, extract, the fixed soluble alchemical salts. This first portion of the video concerns plant alchemy, soluble fixed salts extracted from calcined plant ashes with distilled water. This material has been through intense heat of fire, purifying it, burning away the impurities, and then extracting the soluble salts, dissolving and filtering them so they can be recrystallized, purified, regeneration in alchemy, very pure soluble salts.
fixed soluble salts. Spituric plant alchemy to take out a sample of these fixed soluble salts from the calcination of the plant material. These are not the same as volatile salts in alchemy. Volatile salts distill and sublime fixed salts have been through the fire. Not for consumption. Do not try this at home, for informational purposes only. This video does not constitute advice of any type, nor is it intended for any specific person. Here I have concentrated the fixed soluble plant salts into a super saturated solution and the salt is the color of fire it's almost white but it has a fiery color very pure this ends the portion about the plant salts and we'll begin on mineral salts with fixed salt of iron pyrite in mineral alchemy iron pyrite Alchemy of Stephen's School. This material was extracted with vinegar to remove the green lion. The leftover material was calcined in my Athenor Alchemist Furnace. This is the material after it was roasted and added to the white vinegar and then filtered. The solution was warm to help dissolve the fixed soluble salts from the iron pyrite. Not for consumption. Salt in alchemy represents the body or earth. This is the emerald tablet of Hermes. He was considered the father of alchemy, and this was his alchemical document, stating the rules of the art of alchemy, or the basis and foundation of it. Alchemy of Stephen's School. Do not try this at home. This is a book that I wrote.
solar distillation and alchemy. This is my sun dome that I made. A glass plate with a glass bowl inverted and a glass bowl inside of material being coagulated by evaporation, which is a form of alchemical distillation. Check out the Stephen School Alchemy Forum on patreon.com. Alchemists often used retorts in their work, which consisted of a glass distillation vessel and a receptacle. This was for basic distillation. However, there was a better model of distillation laboratory glass that was called an alembic. The lower part of the alembic was called the curcurbit. The upper part was called the distillation head which also had a condensation arm for the addition of a receptacle. The Alembic was basically a ancient or primitive water purification device. Its purpose was to improve the water here we see water being distilled. It becomes water vapor that rises up into the distillation head of the Alembic. It condenses and coagulates down into the drip rail where it comes over the condensation arm and drips into a glass vessel. Water, purification of water was the most basic example of distillation and alchemy.